I have major updates. Time for our first home decor haul. Cheers, yay. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my home. <laughs> if you haven't been keeping up with the moving vlogs, I am starting to get a little bit more settled into this place. Not quite yet, I'm still waiting on carpet, but until then, um, all my stuff is still in the living room. But I'll give you guys a quick look because this is the cleanest it's been a while because I'm expecting my first guest, best friend Nikki, she's coming. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's clean. <laughs> Again, keep in mind, all my stuff is still in the living room because my bedroom doesn't have carpet, but the brick wall is up and I love it. I'm so obsessed. So this is what it looks like, my couch. Gotta fluff up the pillows a little bit. I cleaned the floors. The kitchen is fairly clean. And I put all the doorknobs back on the doors since they were painted. Nikki's here. Hey. And we just finished cooking our first, first official official meal. Well, Rachel cooked. Yeah, first official meal in the new condo. This is what we cooked. Salmon, rice, sweet potato, and Brussels sprouts with bacon. Should I do a first bite? Yes, let me know. Hopefully those are cooked properly. <laughs> I can take Mm. <laughs> She's lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> Let me look at it. Dance party. Oh. <laughs> Dance party. There's no music on. We're getting all my glasses. We just finished dinner and we cleaned up. And now we're having champagne. We're using my new glass. Wow, we cooked the first official meal in here and we're using the glasses for the first time. Are okay, you ready? We washed all of them. <laughs> Nikki washed them all for me. Cheers. Yay. Congrats. <laughs> to friendship. Mm. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's really good. This is, this is the bottle. It's pink and cute. Thanks, Andrea, for the champagne. Thank you. <laughs> I have major updates. So not only was my chandelier installed, I have my wallpaper, which you guys saw already, but I got my carpet installed today. So it's a really light gray and it kind of has like mixture to it. I think it goes really nicely with the wallpaper and I was able to move my stuff in. So I have one dresser there, one here. My closet is currently empty. I had to take all my clothes out to get the carpet installed. So they're all out here, but look, I have room now. <laughs> so I need to put these all away. And I put my rug out. I think it matches pretty well with the couch, so I'm gonna keep that for now. And I just stripped my bed, and I actually have new bed sheets, so I'm going to wash them and put them on. I'm really excited for tonight's sleep. So I don't like to mess around when it comes to sheets, so these are my white bamboo uh, blend sheets and I'm really excited because they're so soft and I've always wanted white sheets I know they're way more high maintenance, but I think they look beautiful and you can already see With white bedding and my white brick wall. It's gonna look so good. I'm so excited items haul. So today I went out and got a few necessities. I'm trying not to get too much decor just yet because my furniture hasn't all arrived, but I needed a few things. I got new sheets for my bed that I'm sitting on. My bed frame is coming later this week, so I'm so excited. It's coming from Structube and it was out of stock. I just got an email last night saying that it's back in stock. So I'm super excited about that. But now that I put my new sheets on my bed, but uh, because they're white, you can see my mattress 
underneath and I just don't want it to get dirty so I got a really fluffy mattress pad for my bed and I'm so excited I'm gonna um, fit this on my bed and make sure it fits or else I need to bring it back and make sure I like it but then I'm gonna throw it in the wash and put it on my bed ASAP I didn't just want like a mattress protector because those are really thin that's what I had on my bed before and uh, it got like really dirty during the move but I wanted to get like a mattress pad like something that had a little bit more fluff to it and this is waterproof too this is so soft I feel like I'm in a cloud right now then from home sense as well I got uh, one of these airtight storage food containers I have one of these from the OXO brand that's what this is I have a smaller one that I put my coffee grinds in and I have been using that for the last year and I love it but at my last place I didn't have too much cupboard space in my kitchen so I didn't want to buy a ton of like storage containers because I was trying to like maximize my space and functionality where I find a lot of these like although they are really functional they keep your food really fresh and help you get really organized I didn't have a ton of space for that kind of stuff so now that I have a larger kitchen and more cupboard space I can start getting little things like this so I picked this up and this I'm gonna put rice in because I always buy like those really big bags of rice from Costco and then I have like a small little it's actually like Tupperware that I keep it in. It's like one of those like cylinder ones that you would put soup in or something. And that's what I just kept like in my cabinet and I would just, it holds a couple cups and then every so often I would refill it. So now I can put my, like a larger amount of rice in this and keep it in my cupboard. You press the top and the lid comes up. It's so much fun. I just talked way too long about a storage container. And then the last thing that I got at HomeSense is just more dish towels. So this is a really pretty set that's like gray, black, and white. And they're pretty absorbent, but I needed more dish towels because I only have two for some reason and they're getting pretty dirty. So I wanted to have more for rotation and wash them and whatever. Moving on, I guess I didn't get that many things. I went to the dollar store as well and I got a new loofah because my loofah is old and needs to be replaced. I got some more clear storage containers uh, to organize my bathroom. Now I have a bottom drawer in my bathroom that I keep like my makeup and other like small everyday products. So I got uh, more of these and then two of these that will help just to like put things into compartments in that drawer. That way when you open it, it doesn't, everything doesn't slide everywhere so this will help keep things more organized and I'm trying to get things very intentionally so I'll only buy like containers when I know exactly what I'm gonna put in them and where they're gonna go I don't want to just like go out and buy a bunch of storage containers even though they're from the dollar store and like a dollar 25 each I don't want to end up with a bunch of stuff that I don't have a use for or doesn't quite fit into things so I'm only buying things that I know exactly what I'm going to put in and like measure and everything and I know they're going to work. The last two things, I got dryer sheets. I don't really use dryer sheets on a regular basis, but I want to start using them for storing items because mm, they smell so good. I took my old sheets off of this bed and I, uh, I washed them, folded them, and I'm going to put them in my closet for storage and I just want to put like a dryer sheet with them. That way when I have people stay over, whether it's like on the couch or I have an air mattress and I'm gonna use the sheets for that, I wanna make sure that they smell nice because I find even though they're washed, sometimes when you store things for a while, they like kind of start to smell like weird. So, And then finally, the last things that I got are felt pads for my furniture. Some of the new pieces of furniture that I'm buying don't have them and I put these on everything just so that they don't scratch the floor and also they help the furniture slide a little bit better so if I'm like moving it on my own then they have something to slide on got some in two different sizes and I need to put these on my stools for some reason um, I am using the same stools as my old place but I never ended up putting felt pads on them I don't know why so I need to put these on there and that's it that's my haul it wasn't a ton of stuff again I want to be very intentional with the pieces that I'm buying you know I'm not in a huge rush to finish this place so I'm just gonna get things that I really love and have a purpose for
That's it, those are my last boxes. I'm done unpacking. I am working from home today because I was expecting a delivery and I just finished getting here. So I have five really big boxes that are from StruckTube. That's my bed and my coffee table. This bottom one here is my headboard. So I'm gonna unbox it right now and then bring it into my bedroom right there because I wanna see what the color looks like up against my wallpaper, but then I need to get back to work. So I just kinda wanna open it and see, but I'll put these together later. So it was obviously gonna be lower than this because it's currently sitting on top of my mattress because I couldn't lift that by myself, but I think it looks pretty good. I was nervous about the dark being too much of a contrast, but I think with the lighting and everything, the vibe is kind of working. I just need to get some cool nightstands. So I just wanna sit down and do a little bit of a haul because I have done some more shopping this weekend and I wanted to just like show you some updates that I'm doing around the house or the condo. So I got a paper towel holder and this is by the brand Umbra. I got it at HomeSense. It was $14.99 and it's just very, very simple and chrome. My like faucet is chrome and like the finishes that I've chosen are all chrome. So I just got this to match and it's really simple. In my last place, I didn't have a paper towel holder on my uh, counter. I honestly don't like to use paper towel very often. I'll only use it if I'm cleaning something with like a cleaning product, for example, like Windex on a mirror. Other than that, I use like a cleaning cloth and like reusable materials. And as well as like when I wash my hands, I don't like to have paper towel around because then my guests will use it. I just like to like wipe my hands on a cloth and things like that. But like there's kind of like an awkward corner, not an awkward corner, but it just kind of looks like I need to have a paper towel holder on my counter. Yeah, that was a really long explanation for like why I own a paper towel holder. I just wanted to state that I don't like using paper towel because I think it's very wasteful. Another thing that I got is a bath mat. This is by the brand Calvin Klein. Again, I got it at HomeSense. And the reason why I got a new bath mat is because I had one before, it was white and it was like plush memory foam, really comfy. But I just feel like with the white walls in my bathroom, it's like too much white going on. And also that mat, bath mat was because it was nice and plush, it was too thick to go underneath the door. And so I kind of had it off to the side so that it wouldn't be in the way of the door opening. So I got this one, it's dark gray and those are the colors that I wanted to do my bathroom just to like add some more, I guess, color because it was all white. Um, and I think it like goes really nicely with the gray tiles in there. So I got this and it's thinner, but it's still really comfy and like soft for a bath mat. I'm actually gonna take a shower after this. As you can tell, my hair is like disgusting and I <laughs> have it in a bun, but I did wanna do a haul for you guys first. This bath mat fits perfectly under the door. It doesn't hit it at all when you're opening it, which is so nice. And I'm really glad that I only had to buy. <laughs> I really like shopping at HomeSense because you can like buy and return so easily. I'm one of their members, you have 30 days. They take everything back, no questions asked. I really, really love HomeSense. And so I was like, I have no hesitations with buying things there because I know that if it doesn't work, I can just go back and get a full refund. And then I went to Linen Chess and I got my dishes there. So I know in one of my earlier vlogs, moving vlogs, I, I think it was the first one, I showed um, my new dishes. This is the bowl <laughs> as part of the set. I had some cereal and this is the mug. I had some coffee, <laughs> but the, the dishes are really pretty. I like that they are very flat and then they just have the rim that comes up and it's really nice china and like really good quality. I was so excited to get like my first set of like really nice dishes that I'm gonna have for a long time. So that's that. They're really pretty. They're from Linen Chest and they really have good deals there. You can always find coupons online. And when I bought all my dishes, they were 30% off. And then they also had an additional like spend more, save more kind of deal. So those discounts stacked and like I got them for such a good price. So I was really happy about that. I ended up, uh, going back to get a few more dishes because I only had I had they came in like sets of four So I had two and so I had eight dishes and that's 
plenty of dishes for me to use on a day-to-day -day basis but I love them so much and I'm kind of thinking long term that you know if I ever break one or something like that it's like nice to have more than eight so I ended up getting another set so now I have 12 of everything all right moving on <laughs> that's why I went back to linen chest because they were like on really good sale so I got these towels to match the gray bath mat in my bathroom also my towels were all white and my mother <laughs> she's been over here a few times she uh, complains that my towels look dirty when they're not so I am gonna solve that problem by getting dark towels so I got two of these uh, like hand towels with the little fringe they're really pretty and these are by the brand Royal Plush which is a really nice um, really nice brand like I was kind of feeling a few of the different towel options that they had at linen chest and I really like the quality of these so I got two of the hand ones so I have a hand rack as well as like a bar and then I got you know like a medium sized towel to go on like the big bar where my guests can wipe their hands and then I got a big stack of face towels that I can use you know like wipe my face after I take off my makeup if I get black mascara on them you won't see all of these match really well I'm excited I'm gonna throw them in the wash right now and then hang them up after they're dry and I'm really excited about that because I think it'll add like more personality into my washroom it was like way too white so I'm excited that it's finally coming along and I got these all for a really good deal uh yeah I'm just like slowly getting things for my place I'm still on the hunt for nightstands I haven't decided what kind of look I want so I have held off on that so I think that wraps up this vlog thank you guys so much for watching um I'm having so much fun sharing this process with you and you know buying things and it's like I don't know it's so much fun so I really love this part like going out and sourcing different things like buying returning I don't know it's a lot of fun for me so I hope you guys all enjoyed thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog bye